Hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. And this time it's about the full moon in June. And also a little bit about the end of June, I must say. Some of the energies that's coming up. And a little bit about my channel and why I changed the name or I finally landed the name. So if you are new, then welcome to my newly named Pure Light Awakening channel. So it was a reason for that. And that is because I wanted to have a name that kind of told people what it is that I do. And also what it is that I channel, because it's not only about me, it's about what's coming through me. So I have worked for a long time to try and figure out what that name was going to be. And so I landed on Pure Light, Pure Light uh, Awakening. I also chose to use the word awakening instead of activation or ascension, because for me, uh, that is more where I feel more at home with the word awakening because I don't think that the soul needs any upgrading because the soul already is at one with God so we don't need any upgrades but it's the physical form that's going through an awakening process it's going through a frequency upgrade as such where the the number of the frequency is higher uh, when it comes into the body and it kind of changes a little bit of the energetic body within us. But for me, um, it was more at home with the word awakening. So, um, and what I do channel is light. I mean, I channel light beings, I channel source, source energy, uh, angels and, and uh, star family or, or, or star beings. So they all kind of come from the same source though it all comes from the oneness source originally so if you look at it that way it is just pure light that i'm channeling but through different kind of separated entities out of the oneness if you will so i worked a long time to try and find that right uh, word and the right name for my channel and i landed on pure light awakening so there you have it and also to follow that up i made um uh, an instagram account for for this channel and also a facebook account for this channel so if you would like to hop on over there and have a look i think i will be probably more on instagram than on facebook but i will try and share there as well for those of you who are there okay just to have that said i do not have any page or anything i do not work as such i just want to share my journey my journey and share what i get and um, i am not in a position right now where i can or have the ability to work so my goal right now is just to share what i get okay just to be that channel to give to you what i am given from the universe Plain and simple, okay? So, but now for the full moon energies. So we have a full moon coming up in Capricorn. Now, full moons is, um, you know, in, in the old days, it was about harvest. Um, it was the time for harvest. It was the time to gather up what you had planted, the seeds that you had sown. And for me, this full moon is a lot about that. It is also a full moon in Capricorn, and Capricorn is, of course, a very stable sign. It is the sign of work. It is hard work. It's a sign of um, stability and um, kind of the ground pillars of life, I feel. So, as I said in another video earlier, is that I felt like the full moon coming in June in Capricorn, the full moon in Capricorn, where we were going to land a lot of the work that we had previously done before uh, and that is exactly still how i feel i feel like a lot of stuff is going to land with this full moon uh, but we are also coming out of a solstice that was uh, quite profound on the 21st of june and which is said to be kind of an opening up for this summer up until the lion's gate where a lot of stuff is going to happen and people have been talking about pure light coming to the planet. And I have been seeing that for a while. 
I have, as you have noticed in my other videos, talked about that light coming in. And it will continue. And as I have felt is that the, the purity of it is going to be even more pure, even more high pitched and even more high frequent uh, than what we have experienced so far. So, um, yeah, I, I, I feel, I feel like we are, we are headed towards something wonderful. I think we're headed towards something greater than we have had before. But at the same time, if you do have more trauma or more energies within your body that does not vibrate on the same frequency as the new light coming in, it will be rattled and it will be a time to release that energy now. And I think that's very important. Okay, just to have that set. Now, this card here talks about the full moon as well as an energy peak. And of course, everything gets enhanced under the full moon. We know that, right? We know that our emotions get high. And I mean, the police say that they have a lot to do around full moons because, you know, the, the anger might come up and the, 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 the emotions get enhanced, kind of. Um, but it's also a time of blessings and achievements, as it says here. Because you have been, I mean, the new moon is where we start something new and then we build and then we, and then we do up until the full moon where we kind of harvest the results is, is what I feel. And so, but also in this other deck here, it says surrender to the divine. And I do feel like that is something we are invited to do now because if you are on this path, if you're watching this video and you, then you are on the spiritual path, on a spiritual journey, and it's time for us to kind of step up the game. It's time for us to realize that we need to, to let the higher self, the eternal self, take the driver's seat now. The ego must be set aside. And if you're having trouble silencing the monkey mind, the ego, then more meditation is needed. More silence is needed because this is the time where we really step into the power of the higher self and the eternal being, okay? So, so that I, f I feel is important as well. Now, the full moon in Capricorn uh, is also the end of a tough cycle. You see that? And that's what I felt earlier this month as well, that we everything that we have planned and everything that we've been working on for such a long time, it's finally going to land a little bit now is what I've been feeling for a while, right? And also what's ending now is the Mercury retrograde. So we're going out of the Mercury retrograde now, this next couple of days, uh, full moon landing on the 24th in Europe and in America, but on the 25th in most of Asia and Australia, New Zealand area. Um, so um, we are going out of the Mercury retrograde and we are still in Pluto and Saturn retrograde. And what's also coming up now is Jupiter retrograde. Okay, so that's starting uh, in a couple of days now, or, or I believe it's from the 24th, 25th, wherever you are on the planet, right? And the Pluto retrograde, of course, tr Pluto is about transformation and rebirth. And, and we have been going through that for a while. And it has been enhanced now during this retrograde where we are invited to go within uh, in retrograde season, right? And so, so also with Saturn, which is about boundaries, limitation, delays, and responsibilities. Uh, we have been invited to look within, you know, on what limitations do we have? What is stable in our life? What is the ground pillars of our life? And, and those have kind of been shooken uh, a little bit, a bit rattled a little bit is what I feel lately. And, and we've been invited to look at what's important, stand in the truth. Remember, I've been talking a lot about the truth, standing in your own truth and in your power and maybe changing some of those ground pillars, maybe letting something go um, or, or building new ground pillars. And that's kind of what we've been working on, right? Now, the Jupiter is about expansion. It's also about gratitude, morality and enlightenment. And... Jupiter is extremely powerful. It's the biggest planet in the solar system. And so when Jupiter comes in play, stuff happens. Okay, so the, the whatever you have going on will now expand. 
it will grow. But at the same time, you have the Saturn retrograde and you have the Pluto retrograde. So it is transformation of the stability. It's expansion and it is transformation of, I believe, the big changes. I mean, this is the time for the big changes, okay? So if you are in a position or doing stuff that you are not meant to do or that you are not, where you don't vibrate anymore that doesn't resonate with you anymore that's going to fall away now okay it's time to step into the true you your true north right so so had that have that being said you know looking at the planets and looking at the cards but now for more intuitive stuff that i've been getting and my feeling coming up to this full moon and to the end of june it is it is a new knowledge it's a new wisdom out there it's it's for and it's for the taking okay it's it's new energies and new light coming to the planet as as i've been saying for a long time but remember that you are a supreme being as an eternal being and as a higher self connected to all this information so if you can still your mind, if you can meditate, if you can open up, all that inf information is for the taking, for each and every one of us, okay? So I feel like we're encouraged to become our own gurus, our own teachers. We are encouraged to find our own paths, find our power, you know, it's it's i feel a time for individuality more it's a time for you know as i said standing in your own truth finding your true node yes you can you can follow teachers of course and you can listen to people and 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 different ways of looking at stuff and 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 appreciate everything that they have to teach you and show you but at the same time, I think this is the time to, to find your personal own inner truth, your own path, your own journey. You are encouraged to open up to, to communicate directly yourself with your eternal self and with source energy and the angels and whomever you have chosen uh, in the spiritual world that will follow you in this lifetime. So that's kind of the feeling I get is that we are being empowered. We are, we are waking, of course, up to the fact that we are supreme beings. And that's something I think is very much happening now. Um, so look into that, you know, feel into what's the truth for you? What do you feel resonates with you? Where are you vibrating right now? And as I have been saying earlier, there is no right or wrong. There's no less than or better and better than when it comes to where you are in frequency, uh, your, your body, because as a, as a light being an eternal being, we are all the same, but it is where, how far have you come in your awakening process? How far has the body come in its awakening process? Right. Uh, and it's nothing, uh, worse than or better than it's just, we are at different frequencies. We vibrate differently and we will resonate with different things. Okay. So, so that's all it is really. So that's kind of what I feel is important. Um, and I've been seeing this light for a while. I've also been seeing, as I've been talking about previously, that there are more star beings who wants to participate in our life. And so they are encouraging you to open up for that. The angels are of course present uh christ consciousness yes of course and um so but but i do feel that we are becoming more quantum we are becoming more galactic more universal okay we are understanding in this day and time that we are not alone i mean look at the news it's all over there we are not alone uh and I think it's time that we really start looking deeper into what does that mean, really? You know, um, I have started studying that for myself, not studying as in reading up, but started to open up for them to come in and to talk to us and to teach us stuff. And um, as I've done a couple of videos on before, and I will continue doing that. Um, so they are very much a part of our life and they are definitely a lot about 
enhancing the energies, helping with the energies, purifying, uh, magnifying, um, helping us grow. Okay. So there's a lot of information out there, as I said, and it's for the taking. So um, encourage you to meditate more. Um, ground yourself properly first um, and open up and write down what you get or share. Share what you get. Believe in it. Trust what you get. Okay. It's, um, it's a pivotal time. It's a wonderful time to be in human form and experiencing what we're experiencing. That's for sure. Okay. I want to, uh, pull a couple more cards here to see what pops up and see if they're guiding me to, um, share something else. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> I forgot to say that. I normally always do in the beginning of the videos. How are you doing? Hanging in there? Yeah, I hope so. Okay, let's pull a card here. Let's see if they have something additional that they would like me to share or that they would like me to address. Okay, let's see. Discernment. Yeah. It is a little bit about what I said earlier about the teachers out there. Um, take, you, I mean, look at different teachers. And of course, some of the teachers you out there might be where you feel like I don't resonate with anything they say. Um, but normally you will find something. So you, you can pick, you can choose and pick, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And have discernment, you know, be skeptical and be open uh, for the fact that not everybody knows everything. I know I don't, you know, it's, it, I just share what I get, but I don't know everything. I have still have a lot to learn. So it is about picking what resonates with you, what sticks and what doesn't. Right. So, so yeah. And be aware that there are some people out there that might not be in this for the right reasons as well. Sorry to say, <laughs> but of course, that's something they choose. They have chosen on this journey, so that's fine as well. Okay, let's see. Ah, wolf moon hunger. Beautiful, beautiful card. Yeah. Hunger. With that, I feel the hunger for knowledge. Um, I have I have many people asking me questions, you know, what's really going on and how does that work and how does this work? And I keep coming back to, you know, that you, you need to figure that out for yourself. I can, I can tell you what I see. I can tell you what I feel, but we are invited to tap onto that knowledge ourselves because it's all there out there in the ether. It's just, it's out there in the grid, you know, in the field. So it's just about connecting. And if you have trouble learning how to connect, then there are, of course, many teachers who can teach you how to do that. But it is about stilling your, just still the mind and meditating. Most definitely. So hunger for knowledge, I definitely feel is a big thing right now. I also want to pull a gateway card here from Denise Lynn. Oh, wait, there were several that just jumped out. I'll take them starting fresh a wonderful new beginning is blossoming in my life yep renewing your life radiant vitality is filling my life planting seeds seeds of grace are being planted in the fertile soil of my soul seeds renewing starting fresh so there is something new coming as i said you know, this, this light activation, this energy coming in, um, what we have been planting so far, you know, it's a new start. It's a new ball game. And, and I've, I've been feeling this for a while and we are kind of encouraged to step up the game here, right? I'm going to pull some also from the Colette Baron Reed, uh, wisdom Oracle deck. You know, I love cards. So see you. I always trust that they will give me what I need um, when I need it. So they will give me cards we need to we need to hear or we need to see right now, right? So I'm going to have this, and then I'm going to end with some self-help cards. OK. 
Okay, let's see. Mending. All that glitters. <laughs> TikTok. Okay. Mending all that glitters, TikTok. Yeah, all that glitters isn't gold, as I said with discernment. It's the same as discernment, you know. So be, be open but skeptical, okay? Because as I said, that unfortunately, there are some people out there who wants to earn a lot of money on, and they might not be the right teacher for you. So just just have discernment. Just, just watch out and and be skeptical. Healthy skepticism, it's always good. Okay. Mending. And I feel that's that that's what we've been doing, and that's kind of what we're wrapping up now. Okay, we're wrapping up the mending, we're wrapping up the letting go, the the healing part of it, and we're stepping into this new power now, right? And as I said, TikTok, they are asking us to step up the game. They're asking us to get going now, you know, start start doing the work, right? If you are a spiritual being watching this, I know that you're a light worker. Step up the game. Start sharing. Start believing in yourself. Right? You're unique. Every single one. You are unique. You're a supreme being. And you can tap into all this energy and all this knowledge yourself. You have the gift. Now... We are going to pull some cards from the sacred self-care. Okay. Just a couple cards as to how we can navigate and how we can take care of ourselves through this. Okay. Connect with your ancestors. Yeah. As I said, connect yourself. They, they really want to, I just got the chills. They really want to connect. They, they really want to help. And you know you can. Just have to do it. Burning bowl ritual. Yeah. If you haven't already let go of, of old stuff and trauma, it's time to do that now. It's time to really get into the dirt and start working on it if you haven't already. They are asking us to step up the game. You know, I know it's hard, but it needs to be done. If you haven't. And then rest. <laughs> you see the red thread here? <laughs> Journal. Yeah. That can help you with if you still have some trauma and stuff that needs letting go. Write it down. If you I mean ask for help from somebody um, as well. Um, but it really it's really healing to write stuff down in a book. You can burn the pages later. You don't do the burning ritual, but write it down to kind of let it all out and then rest. Take your time. Be gentle with yourself. And here, sink with the moon. Yeah. So when it is a full moon, see if you can sit down and meditate and actually feel into the energies of the moon. This full moon coming up. Okay. Um I I I get I get a very calm feeling about this full moon for some reason. It's not calm as in no uh, as in um that we won't have emotions. We will definitely have emotions, but coming up. But I have a calmness in it. I have a uh we can do this. You can do this. Uh we'll get through this kind of thing. Uh, we 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 we've, we've been on this journey for a while. We we know how to deal with this. Really, it's a matter of just doing it, and that's why they're saying step up the game because they know, they know that you can do it. Okay, and at the end of this month, yeah, I I do see some 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 standstill. I it's kind of like a vacuum. Is what I'm feeling here, okay? 
I, because I think a lot of the stuff that we have been going through needs to integrate. So we need to sink in and just let everything kind of settle because we've been rattled so much, um, as you probably have been feeling. And so it, it's like the energy is just, it's kind of like this and it just needs to whoo, settle. And then that high pitched new energy comes in and it will give a new kind of rattling. It will be a different kind because, because the energy is different because the pitch is higher, because the frequency is higher. Okay. So that's kind of what I feel, but it won't, it won't make the big waves as it has before. It's, it's a, just a new different kind of energy is what I feel. Okay. And that's kind of what I feel is coming in now towards the end of June and also into July, but I'll make some new videos on that. And I will sink deeper into that. But as I've been saying for a while, that the energy that's coming to the planet now is much finer. It's faster. It's vibrating higher. It's the tone that I hear is a lot higher. And it's calmer. It's more still. But it holds more power and knowledge, if you can understand that. Okay? Yeah, I think that's it for today. I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, I'll, I'll up, upload it now. Yeah, if you have any comments or if, if there's something you, you would like me to address, then comment below. Uh, if you like my videos or would like to support my channel, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And click the bell so you get notified when I do uh, uploads of videos, okay? And head on over to Instagram to find me or Facebook if you want to. And um, I wish you the very best for this full moon and uh, coming days. And um, thank you so much for being here with me today and from my heart to yours. Okay.